Hey there, welcome to Yoga with Brad, the space where I do my best to help you thrive both on and off your mat. Today, I'm going to go through four different stretches that will help alleviate tension in the neck. You can do these seated, that's my preferred way to do them. You can also do them standing as well if that works better for you. The first one we're going to do, fairly simple. You can let the hands rest on the knees, thighs, or just alongside the body, closing the eyes if you'd like to, and you're going to slowly let the head come over to the right shoulder. As you exhale, bring it forward and around. Inhale around the back, reach through the top of the head, and exhale forward. Continuing with your breath, inhale long around the back, reach through the top of the head, and exhale, get nice and heavy, chin towards the collarbone. One more round. And slowly finish this one off. All the way back to center. Let the head fall over towards that left shoulder. Exhale forward and around nice and heavy through the whole head. And inhale, reach long around the back. Exhale forward. Taking your time, exploring your range of motion doing your best to link the movement with your breath. Inhales around the back, exhale forward, one more round. And slowly bring that head back up to neutral. Now this one again, you can choose to keep the eyes closed or open them if you'd like. Inhales, you're gonna be nice at center. Lengthen through the top of the head, stay long through the spine. As you exhale, you're gonna rotate the head towards the right. Inhale back through center, and exhale over to the left. Continuing with your breath. Now you don't need to force yourself too much through the rotation. Focus more on lengthening through the spine and coming over to a point that feels comfortable for you and doesn't cause too much strain. And one more time. Slowly come back to center. This one's one of my favorites. You can choose to do this one with the left fingertips down on the ground, or you can lift the arm. It's a little bit more intense. You're standing, the arm can also go alongside the body. So pick your position for your left arm, lengthen through the spine, and then allow the head to be heavy towards that right shoulder. Breathe into the space between your left shoulder and your left ear. Relaxing the shoulder as much as you can, getting nice and heavy through the head. Keeping your breath moving. And again, you can lift it up and reach through the fingers to make it a little bit more intense if you need to. Aim for two more breaths. slowly bring the head up, release that arm down. This time right arm comes out, fingertip to the ground, arm alongside the body or arm up. Pick one that works for you, lengthen through the top of the head, and then just let that head release over towards that left shoulder this time. Nice and heavy through the head. Breathe into the space between that right shoulder and the right ear. Getting nice and heavy through the right shoulder as best as you can. Again, arm can be alongside the body, fingertips on the ground, or arm can be lifted. This intensifies the stretch, but it's totally up to you. Aim for two more breaths, whatever one you're working on. And slowly bring the head up. And comes back onto the knee. Now this last one I'm gonna turn so you guys can see a little bit easier what I'm doing. So this one you're gonna bring the hands together, try and bring the elbows together as well, and then reach them up nice and high. Now once you're here, allow the head to just be heavy and draw the breath in between the shoulders into the back of the neck. Trying to relax there as much as you can while still reaching the hands towards the sky but keeping the arms as together as you can. Nice and long through your midsection. Aim for two more breaths.
and slowly bring them back down. Now those are four stretches you can do to alleviate tension in your neck. I hope you found them helpful. And if you did, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification button, and toss a comment down below letting me know what you found most helpful about this video. Anyways, stay tuned, and I'll see you next time.